To protest or not to protest, that's a question that looms large in Nigeria today and the clock is ticking. So it's a protest watch of sort. And this morning we have joining us on the program two young Nigerians who well, we just have differing opinions regarding this protest. Well, from our Abuja studio, we have Loki Emonofe, who is the president, National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS. And joining us virtually from Kaduna, Northwest Nigeria, is Kasim Balarabi Musa, a member of the People's Redemption Party, PRP, is a son and personal assistant to late former governor of Kaduna State, Balarabi Musa. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Morning Brief. Good morning. Let me begin with you, Mr. Musa. You are not new to protests. You led a Democracy Day protest uh, just weeks ago. Uh, and uh, I imagine that you're also in support of this protest. So for those who have asked, uh, why is this happening? Uh, wouldn't this make a bad situation worse? We've even seen what I call a counter protest or pre counter protests yesterday people saying no to protests so uh for you is this going on as uh, as planned as you want it to and what do you have to say to those people either those who are pulling out of a protest or who are counter protesting well what i will say is uh nigerians have the right to protest for their freedom and rights uh, and even though these freedom are right are uh, visible, there is a uh, the economic pressure. But uh, there is uh, advice from professionals like the security agencies and even the federal government itself that cautions has to be taken. There are some people behind it and so many other factors that need to be taken care of who have been looking, uh, have to be looked into. Um, it is uh, people have the right to protest, uh, but the protest should be uh, with sanity and integrity of this country, because um, the protest can escalate can escalate to other things. For instance, there are pressures for insecurity, pressure for unemployment, and other factors. Um, but I encourage the young people to protest, but with sanity and integrity of this country. It has to be protected. Mm. So now that the Inspector General of Police, uh, IGP Oluwa Kayode Betokun, has um, ordered the CPs, DIGs to protect uh, the peaceful protesters, uh, would you still be going ahead with that protest? Is that protection enough for you? Are you encouraged uh, to go ahead with that protest come August the 1st? Well, we as a PR, the People's Redemption Party, we are planning to do a peaceful protest or the most peaceful protest. Ours is to go to the Nigerian Union you know, of Journalists uh, and cry out our feelings about the protest, not to go on the streets or demonstrating uh, and to not engage our physical energy. We just have to go. I wanted to plan a the most peaceful protest, which is talking to the media only. So I think that is fair enough to uh, say we are protest or demonstrated. It's another form of demonstration of protest. It doesn't have to be on the streets and other things. At the same time, personally, I, with some other NGOs, some other groups in Kaduna, we are working to see how we can uh, try to reduce the. Uh, anchor of frustration of youth, especially in unemployed youth, because we have a peculiar case in Kaduna, much, which is a civil unrest that will lead to religious crisis. So right. we are organizing All right. some, some NGOs to make sure that uh, the, thing, uh, the protest does not escalate. All right. So our only challenges now is uh, logistics are uh, maybe going around to ensure those uh, spot areas, those areas that are very easy to you know, uh, use the advantage of uh, protest or demonstration to crime. All right. Um, For instance, Mr. Busa. like a common building, right. Right, uh, important places. All right. Mr. Busa. 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 Very sharp case in Kaduna. Thank you. All right. And, and that's a major one to watch out for, absolutely. But let's take this to uh, Mr. Monofe and, and get his thoughts on this. I, I don't know if you agree that uh, there's enough reason uh, to cry out. 
as Mr. Balara bin Musa said, in terms of the economy and uh, the realities of the country. Uh, so it's one thing I'd like you to speak to, uh, whether you think it's enough reason to cry out and protest in different ways. He says they are protesting to the NUJ and they have been protesting by helping people. So do you agree that there's enough reason uh, to cry out? There's enough economic difficulty or hardship to cry out. And what's your thought uh, about the approach uh, of the well, prospective protesters? <laughs> Yeah, good morning. I think um, I agree that um, it is important to state your grievances and there are various ways of stating your grievances to the government and this will help the government to sit tight, no area of adjustment and bring out good policies for the betterment of the citizens. Why I will not agree to street demonstration? Because in most cases, out of 10, about nine of them will lead to violence. I will not agree to street demonstration because historically, street demonstration has caused mayhem in the society, destruction of properties in our society. And then one of the reasons why we are coming out or crying we don't have infrastructure, uh, hardship, and uh, at, at the end of the day, when we have street demonstration, it will worsen the situation where we are. So there are various ways I agree that you can cry out to the government, tell them what you want, for them to sit tight and have good governance, and let the citizens have the dividends of democracy. I agree with that opinion, of course. But coming out, street demonstration, destruction of property, I totally disagree with such. And as for we, Nigeria students, I think uh, we had a resolution as well from the different student union president in our Senate sitting. You know, the SUG president, they are the senators from different institutions across the country. We had a Senate sitting in Ibada. We have a resolution. We've decided to pursue our academic career, and uh, we don't want a shortage of our academic calendar. We want to focus on our studies and uh, we are tabling our grievances to the government as well through different channels. You see, there is actually hardship in our country. And Nigeria students are the one bearing the pains. Uh, from our parents too, we feel it even in our campuses. Uh, the high level of electricity tariff is affecting us. But uh, one thing we must know is that uh, there is no fun for us now. We we'll tap from that opportunity. Street demonstration. Nigeria students will not uh, be involved in street demonstration at all. We want to remain in our campuses. We don't want our infrastructures to be destroyed. We don't want a shortage. We are even happy that for one year now, ASU is focused and there is no shortage in our academic calendar. So we want to continue our study. Why those who are, uh, are grieved, they can express their grievances in a more civilized manner than demonstration. If you look at history, the answers protest. You look at what it costs our nation. Till today, we've not recovered from it. And these are the more reasons why we said Nigeria student, as for us, we will remain in our campus and face our studies. This is the resolution of all the union. And as the president of NANS, I'm directed to convey the message of Nigeria students to the public. Well, Thank Ms. you very much. Mr. Monifa, I'm wondering if that's an update, uh, because prior to this time, there was a seeming lack of unanimity in the position presented by uh, NANS. Some of your groups, student union groups in the north, had uh, resolved to join the protest. As a matter of fact, uh, a statement issued by NANS body in Kano condemned uh, the position of the Kano state government to restrain protesters from hitting the streets to protest on August the 1st. And uh, besides these concerns about stability in the academic calendar that you talk about, isn't your reason to not protest born really out of your uh, enjoying the benevolence of government through the um, student un uh, um, uh, the NEL fund, the student loan for um, you know federal 
tertiary institutions to benefit from? Uh, the truth is that uh, we know that in this upcoming protest, August 1st, the politicians want to use this opportunity to achieve political gain. We've discovered that. And uh, as students, we don't want to involve ourselves in that uh, situation. Then again, too, if we decide to join the protest, uh, I think uh, our academic calendar will be shortchanged. Our property will be destroyed. And uh, I don't think, look at what is happening in Kenya today now. Even the man that started the thing is regretting it as we speak. So what we are saying in essence is that we believed that uh, nobody, nobody should use Nigeria students to attain any political reasons. Uh, we believe that the nail fund is for us and is benefiting us. And uh, our students should apply for the loan. Those who can have access to education is free. You can uh, as, uh, apply. Then you go to your school. Then, of course, we are advocating that uh, government should, at least as a matter of urgency, to fix this electricity. We are engaging with the government. And I think they are giving us listening ear. They are trying to uh, do solar system to our schools, making our institution autonomous. These are our major primary concern. And uh, as for those who want to take it for personal reasons, uh, Nigeria students are not involved. We want to face our study. And that is, before any other thing, our studies are very important to us. And this, this is our resolution to continue in our study. We want government to improve infrastructure in our institutions. Most of our schools are shutting down like University of Benin because of la lack of electricity. And the government is trying to bring in solar to it. And we equally want, because of the fact that Nigeria students are not protesting, that does not mean we are okay with where we are. No. We want a situation where by our institution, they cannot face this ban A. They have included them into. They should remove them from ban A. Mr. Monifed, just one more thing. Because the electricity Mr. tariff Monifei. is high. And we can't face it. So we are engaging the government. Just, just and we believe that we can achieve our aims and objectives through dialogue. So just one, mo one more thing, Mr. Monifei. Pardon me. Like the net fund we have me. today, we didn't protest before we get it. Yeah. Nans has the high level of funding be... we have from third fund, we didn't protest before we get it. Yeah. So we believe that we can achieve our aims through dialogue, through negotiation. Yeah, just... But we are calling on the government to sit tight. Yeah, taking, tight. taking, all and of that is taking. Just, just one more thing. We are not happy with the situation. Prior to this time, NANS has been known for different Aluta struggles in the past. So outside the NEL fund, if you didn't get NEL fund, would NANS be part of this agitation? And if we didn't get NEL fund, I think uh, we equally study situation critically. And uh, like what I said, before, I said, these protests, they are political undertone to it. That's why we don't want to get ourselves involved. Then secondly, too, we equally believed that uh, in every 10 protests, nine of it must come out with violence and destruction of public properties, destruction of national assets. And as Nigeria students and future leaders of this great country, we don't want to be part and parcel of it. Apart from Nelfon, there are other interventions, and we believe that they are initiative we can engage. Because even after the protest, we will still come down to a round table to discuss. We will come down to a round table to discuss. Why don't we discuss, engage the government? This is our advocacy. The government came in for one year now. And I think one year, we elected the government for four years. We can still wait, give time, and uh, scare the government very well then. Of course, there are different means of, like what the Redemption Party guy said, he said they are doing their own in different manner, not going to the streets to demonstrate. So NANS is known for a critical struggle, and uh, we don't want to involve ourselves with political issues. If Nigeria students want to go to, uh, uh, to drive home their demands, we will organize ourselves. There are ways we will do it. We don't want people to hijack uh, uh, All right, Mr. Uh, uh, and we are even setting up a committee in our All campuses right. to Let monitor politicians who will infiltrate our campuses to come and mobilize Nigeria students for chaos. Mr. Amano, if I may button. I will copy those names. Nance, 
is a formidable in movement. We will rise against such people and such individual in our country. All right. Let, let's take it back to Mr. Musa. Mr. Musa, maybe I'll, first I would like you to respond to some of the things that uh, Mr. Munafe has said. Uh, because <clears throat> besides the tag of end bad governance, there's also the tag of uh, hunger protests, which is the food inflation and the inflation numbers are not friendly. But I want you to respond to some of the things that Mr. Munafe has said. Uh, well, he has, he has said, well, that the NANS is a professional uh, group that will try to be law-abiding citizens. And we gave an example during the NSAS protest that they protested uh, uh, within the campus, which is uh, much more of a peaceful and very clean uh, demonstration. Anyway, and I believe the Nigerian students will not go away uh, from peace. And Reach to violence. So I, what he said, he said well. No? Do you believe that there is political undertone to this protest? Well, I do not believe what we are observing and analyzing because one of the things that we critically looked into uh, from in the, within the PRP is uh, who are the organizers, what is the motive. Although uh, the protests are uh, been particularized, uh, sorry, the Factors are physical. You can see that there is hunger and hardship, there is frustration, there is tension in regards to peace, and so many other factors. All the indices of uh, poverty or disturbance for human life is there. Uh, but we, you see that during the June 12th for democracy activism, during the... Uh, you, we have Nadeko that time. You know that it is Nadeko that is organizing the protest. During Obasanjo, we participated at the mass action. Opposition parties together with Buhari, Oju, Walet Wadanas, and my father and all. We know that uh, this is a mass protest being organized by political parties in the opposition. But in this case, we don't know actually is behind the, uh, this protest. Even though uh, we believe that there is hunger and people are being pushed near to starvation. All right, so is it because... There are no faces behind. Thank God you mentioned factors. Is it because there are no faces? That's why you are a bit, your group is a bit concerned about joining the process. Because we have some faces. Actually, we interviewed one uh, on our sister program, Mr. Adenola, uh, one of the gentlemen from uh, Take It Back group. And there are other groups as well. So uh, when we tell the issue of no faces, I think those faces are beginning to come out and they've been giving pressers. Well, next time in future, they should come out earlier. But whatever they are saying is mostly true. But that is not the reason why we are trying to, you know, as you said, we are no abiding citizens, PRP, and we believe in federalism. So we should, we are, it's our duty is to protect the integrity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And secondly, uh, being law-abiding citizens that are warning from professionals, like the security and rumors around, and even the government has come out to say that there are people behind it. We are not saying we believe 100%, right. but uh, right. we have a peculiar in Kaduna State, this religious crisis and civil unrest. So for that, for these reasons, made us to do uh, ensure, we ensure we have the most peaceful protest. If you look at the June 12th, uh, demonstration that we did, a democracy demonstration. We went to Nigerian Union of Journalists. We are not on the streets. So PRP is a law-abiding uh, people guided by principles. All right. Let, let, let's, let me take it to Mr. Amonofe. Mr. Amonofe on this one. So let's be clear on what the Constitution says. Uh, it could be a choice not to go on the streets, but the Constitution guarantees that if you go on the streets, you should be protected. So let's be clear on that. Uh, according to Section 40, it's called Peaceful Assembly. The operative word is not just assembly, it's a word that it should be peaceful. Uh, anything beyond that, then the state can, you know, act uh, with any form of force it chooses to use to, you know, put some sanity in the polity. Uh, so my question to you is, um, how long more do you think Nigerians can bear the pain they are currently going through? Uh, there's a lot of pain. The economy is in a very bad shape, and I use my words very clearly very bad shape because all the numbers 
are looking record high, which is why people choose or not choose to go on the street. So how long can they bear? How long can you, do you think people can hold up pent up anger? Because it's difficult to believe that there will be any time because nobody really wants to see anybody protest and destroy anybody's property. But is there going to be a time when people will converge and say, yes, we want to protest and there's not going to be one security report or the other of one undertone or the other. So how long do you think Nigerians can bear, honestly? Okay, uh, going to your question, you know, NANS is known for demonstration. There is no organization in the sub-Saharan Africa have the capacity to demonstrate compared to NANS. As I sit here like this, we can give an order all our campuses so our students will come out and mobilize. We agree. It's, we are not against protest at all. Public safety is very key not obstructing our academic calendar, which is the more reason why we are student, is very key to us. Not destroying national assets and academic infrastructure is very important to us. These are the reasons I stated them to you. Then you ask about how long can we stay? You see, I agree that there is hunger. And I stated it earlier that Nigeria students they are mostly affected with this because even when we get home, we get we are hungry. In our campuses, we are hungry. We we see the federal government distributing palliative to state. No one is allocated for Nigeria students. We want them to look into that direction. There is hardship in the land. We agree totally. The subsidy remover is affecting. We agree that subsidy should be removed. There are other economic policies like the floating of the naira that's supposed not to go simultaneously with it. So we. We want the government to look into some of these hard economic policy that is affecting the nation and bringing Oga at this time. So that Nigeria can breathe, like what Mr. President uh, said, like let the poor breathe. Then as regards the duration they can stay, you see we are in democracy. There are ways and patterns where citizens can express their anger by telling the government, we don't want you, we don't want this anger. Of course, our law gives us permission that at every four years, if we are not happy with a particular government, we can vote them out. We have that power. We have the power to do that. We can send them packing. Nigerians can do that. We, we have a civilized way mm. of telling the government that we are tired of this hunger. And that is our position. And I'm trying to answer the question when you say, how long can we stay? Of course, there is a duration at which we can stay, and there is a time for us to reply the government to, through rejecting them by voting against them. Of course, we can do that pattern. All but right. not coming out, destruction, and all what have you. And again, too, Nigeria students will be very willing to join this protest. We will mobilize all our campuses if our academic calendar is guaranteed, our institutional properties and infrastructure is guaranteed to be safe, of course, we'll come out. All right, Mr. Manfred. We are good partners to labor whenever they want to come out for protest. Of course, NANS is known for fighting for justice. Of course, we fought the military, and the history is there. All right. So these are what we are saying. We want peace in our society. And we equally believe that when all these things are destroyed and there is demonstration, we, it will even take us more years to regain them back. All right, Mr. Manfred, when well, you say when, I would expect you to say if, as though you, you're sure that this will go violent. Two points I want to raise with you. And the first one, the other one is from okay. some of our audience uh, on YouTube. They have some questions for you, which I'll take uh, shortly. But the first part is, so if you say that NANS will join the protests if these things are guaranteed, in the same breath earlier on, you mm -hmm. said that nine out of ten street protests mm -hmm. always turn violent. I remember there was a protest by students, street protests in Uniben, in University of Ibano, just barely weeks ago. Did it turn violent? So um, does that then mean that going forward, NANS will not be organizing street protests? Because as you said, they always turn violent. You, if we are organizing a protest and it is well coordinated, you know, in every genuine intentions, 
of genuine people who want to drive home their points and their aims and objectives. You will have uh, people who want to infiltrate it and cause mayhem in the society. So we are wary of that. Uh, in our uh, protest, if we want to get involved, we organized it. We have a way of uh, uh, doing our own thing and people don't come in to cause trouble with it. And we, we plan it very well. That's what I want to say. We plan it very well. We coordinate it. The leaders will come about. Remember this protest we're talking about? It's not just specifically to NANS. Or we have a demand in our institution only. It's a national protest. So well, if, you, if, if a particular institution is demonstrating for lack of electricity, we'll coordinate it very well. And we do it very well so that our property will not get destroyed. Right. And well, you remember, even the, the when organizers have also said that when they we are, resume, they're planning when the, this. they will ask the student to pay the money back right. for uh, restoration. Uh, of and I property. think that is taken, that that's a valid point. But the organizers have also said, well, uh, that they are planning this appropriately. That's why they want to use the Eagle Square and the rest. But the second part of this question is what uh, some of our viewers on YouTube are, are asking. And uh, I want to just speak frontally to it. These things have come up time and again. Uh, one is, they're wondering, are you a member of the APC? You seem to be uh, supporting this government. At least that's what they're asking. So are you uh, an affiliate of this government? Are you in bed with them, to put it mildly? And on the other part is, uh, a number of them are wondering if you're really a student. And I know that's a question you've had to answer again. So what would you say to those questions, particularly to our viewers asking on YouTube? Okay, uh, quickly, I think uh, I've answered this question before now in this studio, and I've told you, for Nigeria stand to elect you, you must be a student. And uh, before you become NAS president, there is fact finding. Your institutions, your the security agency, they will find your data. You you bring out your data, they will confirm. And even you have, for, I have a student union president representing my school that voted for me as well. So I have answered that question. If you are not a student, you cannot be a NAS president. You must first of all be a student first so before you become NAS president. What school the second one is said, an undergraduate uh, or postgraduate? NAS post is not a political party uh, Mr. and uh, do not belong to political party as well. Pardon and, uh, me, just to me put that point to rest, Mr. Monofe, if you can hear I'm me. Not a, 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 uh, what school, undergraduate or postgraduate, so we can put that to rest. All of the viewers are watching right now. So what school? postgraduate or undergraduate, and I know that this will be on record for them. Okay, uh, quickly, I'm a, a postgraduate student uh, of Azure University and uh, of education, and I'm studying educational management. So there you have it. Uh, for the viewers who want to know, he's since responded to that, and the part about party affiliation as well, uh, that Nance is not... Uh, well, you're not meant to be a member of a party or affiliated to any political party. Uh, well, this is an ongoing conversation, really, and at least we've been able to uh, scratch the surface. But on a final note, Mr. Balarabi Musa, let's get your thoughts on this. So Nigerians are facing fuel scarcity right now. Some don't even have petrol. Some are buying for exorbitant prices. Uh, some had their lines barred, but that has since been reversed. So there's, there are questions about timing because timing is very important. Some of these things happening right now, just on the verge of a protest, is very questionable, and it questions the government's empathy, or at least the thinking of the people at that level. We've also had the minimum wage and other, uh, you know, palliatives introduced. So what is it you expect government to do as we wind down in the space of today and tomorrow if they want to at least calm the frayed nerves? Sabal Arub Musa, 30 seconds. Okay, um, the government should, I will kindly request the government to reverse the subsidy and the electricity tariff and complement it with uh, telecommunication. We have about 200, and 200 million plus uh, telecommunication lines active for subscribers. We have about 140 million data users in Nigeria. So we can use uh, data and telecom to get our money and fund our budget. For instance, while putting 100 Naira in your recharge card, you can be given 16 Naira or 17 Naira. The government can take 13 Naira or 14 Naira into national treasury. 
So I went from one state to another. Government can charge you 20 naira or 40 naira as a government. There are some like monthly charges. There are some other charges. The reason why I'm saying that this will not touch the items or the food items and other necessities of human life. All right. The technology aspect that's telecom. If you look at the like reporting and analysis in data, more than uh, among this 140 million data users, subscribers in the country, 70% are using it on entertainment and social media, and like TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook. Not for educational purposes, not for research and development. All right. Not about Arabic, sir. So it's just for enjoyment and entertainment. So we can tax and get our revenue from there. All right. And use that revenue because going to be a huge amount of money. But well, we have to anchor at this point, so, uh, Mr. Barako Musa. So to build, uh, establish farms along all the ground roads and state roads, eliminating bushes and forests, okay. creating employment for all these terrorists and all these uh, bandits. At the same time, the Fulani had uh, farmer clashes reduced drastically. Because right. the animals will be getting well, Mr. Kasim Balarabe Musa, we have to thank you so much uh, for your time on the program this morning and for your contributions as well. He's a member of the People's Redemption Party, the PRP, and son, personal assistant to late former governor of Kaduna State, Balarabe Musa. Thank you for your time, as well as Comrade Loki Emanofe, who's a president of the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS. Uh, thank you for at least giving an insight into the thinking of Nigerian students and what to expect in the coming days. Thank you, gentlemen. Wish you the very best. Well, there you have it. We'll take a quick break now. And when we return, we'll bring you a masked performer who is conscious about his or her art. You wait to find out who we have next on the show. Join us again.